Hello everyone, you're welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. My name is Oti. I create content on sewing tutorials and turban crap. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. In today's video, I'll be showing us on how I made this beautiful cow kaftan using African prints with sequence design in front it is absolutely beautiful and easy to make marking on my pattern paper because the chalk that i'll be using will not be visible enough on the fabric so i have two pattern paper folded into two as you can see one is the front this is the front bodies so from the folded edge i'm going to measure one inch like so then i'm going to connect into a straight line that one inch that i just marked will serve as the center front which is going to have slits then this second paper is the back bodies i'm going to place the back bodies on the mark on the one inch mark that i created on the front bodies then from there at the edge i'm going to rule my starting line so the next thing to do is to mark the necklines i'll be marking four inches neck width neck depth for the back one inch neck depth for the front is going to be v shape i'll be marking nine inches please note i might not really mark the inches that i'm mentioning on the paper because the paper is short as you can see but i'm going to be mentioning the exact inches that i'll be marking on my fabric when cutting directly on the fabric but on the paper i'm just going to mark um, a, a a short measurement so that it can fit into the paper as you can see the paper is not long enough to accommodate my real measurements i hope you guys understand so the next thing i've connected the necklines as you can see i've connected the back neckline and the front neckline so the next thing to do from the center back i measured my sleeve where i want my sleeve to stop is around 21 inches but the paper is not 21 inches so i just mark where um, the paper stops but on my fabric i'm going to be marking 21 inches from my center back to my sleeve then for my shoulder slope i'm going to measure Two inches for the shoulder slope then from that two inches i'm going to connect it to the neck width if you have been following my channel you should be familiar with this type of measurement because i've done it severally on my channel so next is to measure my sleeve opening i'm going to measure 10 inches for my sleeve opening And I'm going to rule a straight line like so. After that, from my shoulder, I'm going to measure my hip line. My hip line is 25 inches. Please note, this um, pattern paper is for illustration purpose. The reason why I'm drafting on the paper is because the chalk won't be visible enough for you guys to see on the fabric that is why i'm drafting on the paper for illustration purpose so at my hip line i imputed my hip measurement divided by four plus two inches let me go over it again show that to my hip line is 25 inches at my hip line i imputed 
my hip measurement divided by 4 plus 2 inches and I measured the same measurement at the lower part of my dress and I connected it into a straight line as you have seen. Hip measurement divided by 4 plus 2 inches. So the next thing to do, at the length of my sleeve opening, I'm going to go in by 2 inches. So from that 2 inches, I'm going to draw my curve to meet the line at my hip line. I'm going to draw the curve like so to join to the line I'm going to still show us on the fabric this is how to form the curve I'm just drawing it again to have a good shape and that's about it so before I cut it out I'm going to add half an inch to the shoulder i'm still going to show us on how i'm going to draft it on the fabric in case you guys do not see the chalk just follow my hand you will understand it properly and you will see the way i'm going to curve it on the fabric that's about it for the drafting so the next thing to do is to cut it out as you can see it's very easy So when cutting it out, I'm going to first of all cut the back neckline. What I'm doing to the paper is exactly what I'm going to do on the fabric. After cutting the back neckline, I'm going to cut the shoulder slope. As you can see. Assuming this is my fabric, I'm going to move to the lower part of the dress, that is the M side, then I'll start cutting like so. To the sleeve. And that's about it. So after cutting it out, I'm going to remove the back bodies. The upper part is the back bodies. That is the paper that is on top. Is the back body so I'm going to remove it while I'm going to cut the front neckline and open the slits so after I remove the back bodies I redraw the neckline for the front as you can see then i cut it out like so then i'll open the slits So what I did on the paper, I'm going to mark it on my fabric and cut it out.
the front bodies is divided into two because it's going to be having slits as you can see so the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to place the two together the one inch mark that I left I'm going to sew it from the neckline to where I want my sleeve my slit in front to start from so i'm going to mark about 22 inches from the lower part that is how i i want my slit to be then i'll take to my sewing machine i'm going to sew from the neckline i'm going to sew one inch and 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 stop at the 22 inches mark where i want my slit to start from Please, if you don't understand any part of this video, drop your question in the comment section. I've sewn the neckline, that is the one inch slit. So the next thing to do is to fold the sequence fabric for the facing. I'm going to cut out facing that I'll be using to create design to the front bodies. So I'm cutting the neckline as you can see. Then on the facing, I'm going to mark four inches. That is how wide I want the facing to be. I'm marking four inches. Then I connect the mark afterwards. I cut it out I place the front on the table to check the facing on how it looks and it came out perfect I like it then for the lower part of the design i folded another fabric into two at this stage you can freestyle your design there is no specific method of um, creating design you can decide to do any design of your choice this is the time you can be creative to create any style so I just folded my fabric into two, then I slant it like so. I just slant it as you can see. Then um, I measured about nine inches at the upper part. Then towards the other side. I measured about seven inches then towards the lower parts I measured about 10 inches so just freestyle the design then I cut it out So the next thing to do, I'm going to sew the facing to the neckline. The wrong side of the fabric is facing up. So I'm going to place the right side of the facing to the wrong side of the bodies that I'm going to sew half an inch around the neckline. After that, I'm going to notch it brown and top stitch it to the front bodies that is to the right side of the bodies so i'm going to sew half an inch like so after that i'll turn it to the 
right side of the bodice and top stitch on it. I've sewn it as you can see. So the next thing to do, I'm going to place the design on it like so. Then I'm going to fold it inward at the edges and sew it to the dress. I'm going to sew it to the dress. I've sewn the design to the front bodies as you can see. So the next thing to do is to sew the slits. I'm going to fold in half an inch twice. And I'm going to sew the edge of the slit. Then, this is the back bodies. I've already sewn bias to the neckline of the back bodies. Next is to place the back bodies and the front bodies together and sew it at the shoulder. I'm going to sew the sides, end the lower parts and show us the final look this is the final look guys as you can see it is very easy to make please if you have any question for me drop it down in the comment section we've come to an end of today's tutorial if you find my tutorial helpful please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you've not done so i'll upload weekly tutorial on my channel also remember to click on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified until i come your way next please stay safe and remain blessed thanks for watching love you all bye